Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about the Power BI stack bar chart from two different tables. And this is the heading that we are going to cover in this video. We will see how to display the single stack bar chart with the data values from two different tables. So let's begin. So to be before we begin, we should know about the cardinality process to get data from two different tables. And there are basically four different cardinality types that are available. We will see the first one is one to many, many to one, one to one relationship and the many to many relationship. These are the four different cardinality relationship that are presented. So before we get data, we have to make sure that both the tables contain any one of these relationships. Now I will show you how to make the relationship and get data from two different tables and display this stack bar chart in Power BI. Initially log into the Power BI desktop and load the data using the get data option. Here previously I have loaded the data product set A and the sales table and the financials table. Here I am going to get data from these two tables. One is product set A, another one is sales table. So here go to the data view. Here you can see this is the product set A table and this is the sales table data. As I previously told, here you can see the model view to make the relationship between these two tables. Choose the model view here. Here you can see by default the relationship is made and if you want to delete this relationship, right click delete the default relationship once the relationship has been deleted, simply select the two columns which has the same data values. In this case, the customer location column has the same data values in both the tables. So, simply drag and drop the customer location here. And here you can see by default it is giving the cardinality relationship as many to many. Simply click OK on it. Once you select the OK button, here you can see the relationship has been made. And in the properties section, right click on the relationship line and click the properties to edit the relationship. Here you can see we have option to choose the sales data table which means the table 1 value and the table 2 value and the column that has the same values. Here you can see the customer column has same values and choose the cardinality function as many to many and simply select ok. This is how we can make the relationship between the two tables. So that when we display the data, it is possible to display the correct value from the two different tables. Now go back to the report view here. Choose this stack bar chart here. Align it. And here you can see in the y-axis, I am going to choose the sales value and the customer location in the y-axis. So it displays the sales value by customer location. When you hover on the stack bar chart visual, we can able to view the sales value of the selected location. In the same way, if I want to choose or display Display the stack bar chart based on the product value then in that case remove the customer location choose the product name here so that the stack bar chart displays the sales value based on the product here you can see it displays the sales value for this smartphone and for the TV microphone, laptop, etc. And here you can see this is the data from table 1 which is a product set A sales value and the product name is from the table 2 which is sales table. So this is how we can display the stack bar chart with the data values presented from the two different tables. In the same way I will show you another example. Select the stack bar chart visual here under the visualization tab and here you can see there is no relationship between the financial table and the product set A. In the model view here you can see there is no relationship between these two tables. Then in that case if I take data from two different tables then I will get an error value. Here you see in the financial table I am going to select the sales value and from the product set A I am going to choose the customer location. Here you can see the stack bar chart doesn't give the exact result what I It displays the wrong value. So go to the model view and make relationship between these two tables. If I make the sales value, then in that case here you can see by default it takes the many to one relationship. So now get back to the report view. Here in the stack bar chart, I have displayed the quantity by sales. From the financial table, I have selected the sales value and from the table 2 as a product set A, I have selected the quantity data. So here you can see it displays the sales quantity in the stack bar chart visual. So this is how we can display the stack bar chart visual from the two different tables data. I hope you understood how to work with two different tables data to display the stack bar chart visual in Power BI. Thanks for watching this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our YouTube channel. Please check it out and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.